Good morning everyone, welcome back to Porto Princesa. We are currently headed towards the bus station. We're gonna get a tricycle. Our plan today is to hop on a bus and head up to El Nido. Which is our last stop on our Philippines trip. Our streak of bad luck continues as we've come outside the hotel and it started to rain. So hopefully we can find a tricycle pretty quickly and head to the bus station. <laughs> As we pulled up, he's uh, just bring us to his van to jump in, going straight to El Nido, nice and easy. It's only 550 each plus a 50 charge for the Hola. entering the city or something entering like that. The city, right? Which is reasonable, I've seen it more online. So, yeah. oh, six and a half hours, it's going to be a long day. Very long, very long travel day today, but hopefully worth it. We've heard a lot of good things about El Nido, so please pray. But, uh, and hopefully the sun just stays. If the sun stays and everything goes to plan, it'll be an absolute miracle. But it'll be a nice way to end our Philippines trip on a high. Yeah, because <laughs> we have had some bad luck with weather, with uh, accommodation, travel restrictions. So yeah, hopefully everything goes well. And if anyone's wondering how much it costs to get from Porto Processor to El Nido, in a van, it is 600 pesos each, which works out as less than 10 pound per person, and that's for a four to five hour bus ride. So it's not actually that bad. We've had people coming up to us trying to sell us all kind of things while we've been sitting here. Um, anything from measuring tapes to necklaces. What else have we had? Uh, we've had chargers, we've had towels. Everything. Obviously food, water. Yeah. It's nothing that we need. Like no. we've got water so and we've just had some snacks. And then they're selling like why am I gonna need a tape measure while I'm uh, taking a bus to El Nido? I don't know. <laughs> just about half hour wait now. The sun is gone. Hopefully it doesn't start raining, but there's massive puddles all around this uh van stop station, whatever you wanna call it, because of obviously the heavy rain that happened overnight, but yeah, it just shows how much rain falls when it rains here. Yeah. Okay, this is our minibus. I don't know how many people are, are fitting on it. It's gonna be warm in there. It doesn't seem as if there's aircon, so it's gonna be a long five hours. They've Fair absolutely the piled games. all these boxes up in the back here and <laughs> all the way back. to there. They've crammed this in, which isn't helpful. We've got our luggage just there because there's nowhere else to put it. And it was supposed to leave at 10 to 11 and it is going to be 20 past 11 and we still haven't left and there's no sign of leaving yet. They've just crammed everyone and everything in a tiny, tiny vehicle instead of being like, oh sorry, it's full. There's about 15 of us in this little minivan and it's just, there's maybe room for about seven. Yeah. <laughs> and there's like a hundred boxes in the back as well. We've stopped in what seems to be like a services. The bus ride hasn't been that bad so far. No. It's been a little bit bumpy and he drives pretty quick, but... We're not complaining about him driving quick. No, that's a good <laughs> thing, because we'll get there faster. We have left the clouds behind and it is blue skies at the I moment. I know, it's so bright. Well, you, I don't know, can you tell us blue skies? It's like blue skies and clouds, but not really like... Like back in Porto Princesco, it was raining and it was like proper clouds, yeah. wasn't it? So, so hopefully the further north we head, It'll be nicer, but it is very bright as well. It isn't is it? so bright. I don't know if it's like the pavements are quite light. I think that I don't know, but it's very, very, very bright. So I think we're just going to wait for everyone to be done in this restaurant, jump back on the bus, and uh, it shouldn't be too much longer. Okay, I've just looked on Google Maps and it's actually two and a half hours away, but again, it seems to be going pretty fast. So. Yeah, it does mean we're halfway through. Yeah, we're about halfway through. Okay, we've jumped back on the bus now. We don't know how long until it goes, but we will just pick it up when we get there, probably. It's another two and a half hours, so hopefully it goes nice and smooth. Welcome to El Nido, everyone. That bus ride ended up being a little bit crazy since we left off. There was a boy being sick. There's an old man coughing up blood. The driver thought he was part of like Formula One racing or something. I don't know what was going on there. And there's also boxes of chickens in the back making a noise, but. And we had a flat tire. Yeah, so we're gonna walk to our hotel now, check in, and start exploring El Nido. Yeah. Isn't it nice? We've made it, everyone. 
That's a nice simple check in. They seem quite friendly. Yeah, very friendly. We're staying in a place called Just In. And this is the room. We've got two double, double beds. beds. I think we accidentally booked a family room. I think that was the only thing available. Yeah, but we have got aircon in the corner there. Get that out now. And we've got a fan also. We have got a TV. And then just through here is the bathroom. Everything you need, hot water, shower, toilet the sink. We're just gonna head out to the other bit of the town now, which is just down the road this way. You've got the massive limestone sort of uh, cliff rock features. Rock features, rock formations. There doesn't seem to be too many cars about. There seems to be loads of tuk tuks and bikes. Yeah. Like a lot of tuk tuks or like and, tricycles. Yeah, and just some like minivans that we were in earlier. Yeah. It's definitely more of a touristy place, I feel already. Yeah, 100%. You've got loads of market stores and stuff along the road just coming up. Yeah, loads of restaurants and bars, it looks like, on Google Maps. But we're going to head down now, see what we come across. We're going to get some food. Um, a couple of drinks, is it? Yeah, it's definitely more of like a livelier vibe than Port of Princess was. Yeah, I think Port of Princess was definitely more uh, like locals living there, like yeah. stuff. But yeah, definitely more resorty here. Right, this is the first look at El Nido Beach. I don't think it's called El Nido Beach. No, I don't think this one it's is. It's called like Leo Beach, I think. Definitely really picturesque. Look at all the, all the cliffs and stuff behind us. You can start to see the different like islands and different rock formations all along there. And you've got some just over there as well. Super excited to do a tour. Yeah, really excited to do a boat tour. We haven't actually done a boat tour yet in Southeast Asia. No, we haven't. We've been on a boat just to get to Rayleigh really Beach and things, but we haven't actually done a tour, so really, really excited. I think we're going to do it in a couple of days' time. So today, as the sun is set, pretty much all the way now, we are going to find somewhere to have food. We haven't actually had breakfast or lunch, and it's like half past five, six o'clock. So we need a lot of food. <laughs> so we're going to find a restaurant. Of course, some sort of abandoned ship. Looks like it's been there a while. It's literally right on the beach front. Yeah. Okay, we may have made a mistake here. We've ordered two of these. They're massive. I did not see the size. That's my hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Every time we ordered pizza, they've been a decent size. I didn't say what size it was on the menu. I feel like they've been fairly big, but this is like bigger than anyone we've had so far. It's got a lot of pizza to eat. Yeah, we messed up again too. Big time. Uh oh. Oh, so good. They made it like fresh right there as well. Did you watch them do it and they put it in like a, uh, like a wood oven fire? Is that what it's called? Stone oven fire. Stone oven fire. And we like slot it in and then slot it back up. It was literally done within minutes, like a couple of minutes and it was done. So good. It does look good. Definitely worth going to. That's really good. It's actually quite thin as well, so I think we'll be okay. Okay, we finished the pizza, we've come back to the room. We decided not to go out for some drinks because we were both feeling a bit tired, a bit sticky from the uh, long day of travel that we've yeah. had. So we brought some drinks back to the room. We're gonna probably just shower up and clean up a bit, chill out yeah. for the rest of the evening. Ready for a full day of exploring tomorrow. We've only got three full days here in El Nido. So one's definitely gonna be a boat trip. Uh, so we're gonna do some research, see what else we can do. So if you are new around here, make sure you hit subscribe, give us a thumbs up if you're enjoying the Philippines series, and we will see you again in the next one.